kind of loud. Um, hello. This is Edna and Harvey, the breakout. Um, I played this game years ago on uh, on CD-ROM, but I don't fucking know what it is anymore, and my laptop doesn't have a CD drive anyway, so I got it on Steam, the Anniversary Edition. This is the original, came out in 2008, and yeah, it has this resolution, but in the Anniversary Edition we can have full screen and reworked graphics. Uh, yeah, like I said, I have played this game before, so this is not blind. Um, but also, it has been years, and I know this game is, I think, kind of long for a point and click adventure. Um, yeah, uh, let's start. Yeah, start a new game. Dalek President presents a game by Pokey, written and directed by Jan Müller Michaelis, which is Pokey, and something by Carsten Fichtelmann. Lukas da Gottlieb as Edna and Jonathan Thiele as Harvey. Music by Finn Seelinger. I'm not sure if those were the English uh, speaker names or like. I'm not gonna read any more. Um, the English voice actor names. I'm not sure about that. Pah. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Doopy 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 doo. Pah! Yeah, we are Edna. We're in this padded cell. All we have in our inventory is Harvey. Can look this at is him. my old buddy Harvey. Nice. We can touch him. Oh no, that's uh, interact, uh, combine with another inventory item which we don't have. We can talk to um, him. Hello? Hello, Edna. What's up? What is this place? What is this place? I have no idea, but I want to get out of here. Me too. It seems to be some kind of asylum. This must be a misunderstanding. Who the heck are you? And um, what? You can speak? I'm your buddy, Harvey. It's a shame you don't recognize me. I'll help you get out of here and try to restore your memory. How's it going? How's it going, Harv? I'd be much better if we were out of here already. Then I'll go and have a look around then. Maybe I can find a way out of here. Yeah, you can use the space bar to uh, see what you can interact with. And as you can see, we can interact with al almost every single pad here. Um, and yeah, we can talk with most uh, things. Can How do you feel about this chair, Harvey? 
It's hiding something. You think so? It looks so harmless. That's just a cover, believe me. Look at the door. That is a door. It is closed. Nice. Can you help me open this door? Sure. I'll just get out my welding torch. But seriously, there must be a way to get out of here. Can we talk? Hiya, door. How's it hanging today? I was feeling a little unhinged earlier. But I'm feeling better now. In fact, I'm experiencing a perverse satisfaction from blocking your way. I hate you, Dor. Yeah, so as you can see, we can talk with uh, almost everything. And if you noticed, Harvey is uh, speaking the lines of the objects. Um, yeah, we are Edna. We are apparently not the sanest person. And, um, yeah, we want to get out of here. Even though a door comes in handy time and time again, I can't stand this one in particular. I hate grates. Maybe you can chew through the bars, Harvey. I'm afraid I can't. My teeth are made of terry cloth. Open sesame! Hmm. That must have been the wrong incantation. Okay, and now, uh, what, what is this? Use grade, take grade. Ah, oh, okay, it says in the. Um. Oh, use active item with. Okay. Um. Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. What kind of way is that to treat a guest? We won't give up that easily, will we? Talk again. Hey. Hello. Don't make so much noise in there. What do you want? Where am, Where I? am I? Honey, if I answered that question every time one of you loonies asked me, I wouldn't even have time to go to the bathroom anymore. <laughs> Listen, honey, I'm not paid for talking. Anything else? Who am I? You are by far the most annoying patient I've ever had to guard. Patient? Am I sick then? I certainly don't feel sick. Listen, sweetie, you're in a room with padded walls. Why don't you try to figure it out for yourself? I'm not insane. Isn't that so, Harvey? Right. She isn't insane. Do you hear? Harvey agrees. <laughs> you really are an odd couple. The both of you. <laughs> I agree. Edna's not insane. Harvey is totally real. Why can't I remember anything? I'm not going to explain that to you yet again. Only so you can forget it during your next treatment again. Why is it so hot in here? That might be due to the air conditioner being turned off. What air conditioner? There's no air conditioner in here. <laughs> Do you think the doctor is stupid enough to have an exposed ventilation shaft in your cell? <laughs> The air conditioner is hidden behind the padding, of course. Is that so? An air conditioner behind the padding. That does make much more sense, of course. Yeah, so, um... You're gonna spend, like, the first... 20, 30 minutes, maybe, in this, uh, before you can get out of the cell. And, um... I really... I already know how to do it, but I think I'm gonna explore some. Um, in the original version of the game I played, there was uh, developer commentaries. Um, 
but they are not available for this version and I think they only were available in uh, German anyway. So whenever I remember something I'll maybe just uh, talk about it. Yeah. Let me out! It's an emergency! Let me out! This is an emergency! Oh, is it? I need, to, I need check. to check what the weather is like. Well, the early autumn sun is resting low in an orange sky. The air is so clear that the distant light is sparkling in the mountain reflections. It's around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a lovely day outside, but you won't be able to see it, I'm afraid. Such an asshole. I have to pee. Ah. The good old I have to pee trick. Truly a classic. Do you honestly think you get to be a warden in an asylum for the insane if you ever fall for that one? What if I really have to pee? Yeah, yeah. Very clever. You're in a padded room. I really have to seriously, urgently go pee. Don't try that with me. Just don't. I'm a bit dizzy. Well... That's probably because of the stale air in there. I suppose I could get up now, walk over to the controls of the AC, and provide you with some fresh air. But then again, maybe I won't. Asshole. I'm hungry. Dinner's at six. It's a shame that all you'll get is bread and water again. It's free choice day at the cafeteria, you know. I'm mistaken. No emergency at all. That's even better. Anything else? I just noticed how much of a doofus you are. Doofus? Are yes. you calling me a doofus? Yes. This doofus is about to come in there and show you his infamous backhand. You're an athlete? You must be joking. If you're an athlete, I'll eat an elephant. <laughs> you might as well get out the cutlery now. I even compete with the pros. And what is it that you play? Fetch the stick? As a matter of fact, I'm the junior champion of mini golf. Yep. Um... Yeah, I, I first uh, wanted to be a bit of an asshole to him, so... And I bet Mommy bought the club for you. Ha! <laughs> Do you think that a Babbitt and Son can be bought in just any store? Babbitt? I thought he was called Stiesel. Did they change the name? steal it? Is it from a junkyard? Did you ca carve it from a whale's jawbone? Where did you get it? Did you steal it? I think this is all very exciting. Watch your mouth! I've never stolen anything in my life. Where did you get it then? Is it from the junkyard? You can find the most curious things there. Watch your mouth! Nobody throws out a gem like a Babbitt and Son. Where did you get it, then? Did you carve it from a whale's jawbone? Ha! The whale has yet to be born! Whose jawbone can compete with the impact of a genuine Babbitt and Son? I give up. Where did you get it? My father made it for me. Jeffrey Francis von Babbitt Sr. Really? As he lay on his deathbed with shaking hands, he handed over his own Babbitt and Son Titanium 7 iron. <laughs> His lucky club. He told me to use it like he taught me. You're a real daddy's boy, aren't you? My father was a great man. And an incredible mini golfer, I'm sure. Yep. <sighs> Why don't you take your daddy's club? And whack it across your skull! <laughs> You're mean! <laughs> My poor father! Just you wait! 
I hope you suffocate in there. You can forget about me turning on the AC for you. <clears throat> yeah, then... Look at the chair leg. Holy cow! Detachable chair legs. Junk from the discount furniture dealer. Look at the table. I'd like one of those for my deck. I wonder if I even had a deck. I can't seem to remember anything. I think you had. Hey, Harvey! Do you want to play emergency room? Only if I get to play the surgeon. In that case, I'll give it a pass. Yeah, probably better. I don't want a table that boring. Now maybe, if it was a pool table... Talk to the Hold table. Hold it, table! Good boy. Good boy. Talk to the chair leg. I found you, chair leg. Now I'll hide. You seek. Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide from me. Dang it. It's already found the best hiding spot. Can we... Now we... Take the chair leg. Let's see how detachable this chair leg really is. I've detached the leg. Nice. Mayhem! Yippee! Rambala! Yippee! Ha ha! Suffer my tyranny, you demolished crippled piece of furniture! Why? The chair? It's broken. All right. We use the chair leg. And use it. Ha! Wait, use chair leg. That didn't do much now, did it? If only I had something pointy. Wait. Oh. Right. Uh. Let's see. If I apply the chair leg back here, and with a little bit of leverage. I broke it. I jumped the... Uh, uh, Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls. Jumped a step ahead. Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls. Yeah, I wanted to use the chair leg. Click to skip the action. Doesn't look half bad yeah, to have a pulse three under walls. Doesn't look. Doesn't look half bad to have a... Can I also... Yeah, these? If you're wondering why I'm doing all these pets, I think there's an achievement for causing as much mayhem as possible. And I left these two off because one of them is the right one. one I've created a piece of art totally it's a work of art amazing can we take now it? I want it even less no oh we should have talked to it before are you the sound absorbing type of padding I'll take that as a yes okay now we talk to Stiesel again or Bob it Babbit. And what is it this time? Now we're going to be friendly. I'd like to know more about mini golf. Well, who does it? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Professional yep. league? Uh, I 
getting all Mini dizzy. Golf? I'm getting all dizzy. And with good reason, sweetheart. You know what? I'll turn on the AC for you. Oh, you can cool off a bit that way. There's a draft coming from behind this gap. There seems to be a passage behind this particular cushion. I can't get any further with my bare hands. Hate grates. Take the grate. It's screwed on tight. He talked to How Harvey do you about feel the about this grate, Harvey? I feel uh great. There must be some way to get through. Go, Edna, go. We talk to the grate. Open great. sesame. Hmm. That must have been the wrong incantation. Same dialogue. The other great. The great doesn't seem to be impressed. Quite okay. the contrary, in fact. It seems to be mocking me. Root. Look at the. I can't unscrew it without some kind of tool. Huh. You used to know how way back when. What do you mean? You used to be able to loosen screws with no tool before. That's what I mean. I'm gonna wait uh, talking to Harvey about the screws. Gonna can we look at the fan? Ventilator. There's a ventilator behind the grate. Talk. Uh, take it. I can't reach it yet. Talk to Hello, it. Hello, my little fan. You're my fan, aren't you? Do you want a banana? <coughs> I don't have a banana for you, I'm afraid. <coughs> That's weird. I thought she was gonna make like a you're talking into a fan voice. Harvey. No. Harvey is my best friend. Okay, we're gonna talk to the screw. Yo, screws. screw! Don't you yo me, sucker! Loosen up, screw! Just keeping it real, bro. I don't know why the screw had a black voice. I don't remember that. I can't unscrew it without some kind of tool. Huh. You used to know how way back when. Yeah. What do you mean? You used to be able to loosen screws with no tool before. That's what I mean. Use it's a, a flathead chair leg, but a Phillips screw head. Damn it. I always have that problem. Harvey. I could just cry, Harvey. I can't loosen these screws. Ah, oh, come on! You should be able to eat screws like that for breakfast! That certainly wouldn't have stopped you when you were little! What do you mean by that? Well, you used to be able to pull off a pretty cool trick. What kind of trick? Could I teleport? Could I teleport? Not exactly that, but a couple of stupid screws would never have been an obstacle for you! I must have been an extra laid-back kid. What else do you know? Um, that isn't how it works. Just remember, I'm a projection of your subconscious. Nobody's perfect. I can give your memory a boost. But you'll have to show me things that remind you of your childhood. Like the screws? Exactamundo. And then? Then I'll tempo morph us to the past. Cool. So I'm ready, Harvey. Shall I tempo morph you to the past now? What exactly do you mean? What exactly do you mean by tempo morph? Does that hurt? Will my body be split into molecules and beam backward through time? Something like that. Yippee! Yeah, go for it. Yeah, tempo morph me to the past. As you wish. Hold on. So this is the past? 
It looks like our old basement, at least. And look at me. I'm young. We've jumped back about ten years. Don't I have to be careful now that I don't run over my own grandpa or something? No more than usual. We're just observing your memory here. Ah, I see. So I don't have to be careful in case I step on some dinosaur eggs. Not if you can find any. I know what day this is. My father locked me up in the basement because I teased the neighbor's boy. His name was Albert or... Alfred. Alfred Marcel. Alfred Marcel? Like in Dr. Marcel? Oh no. You better believe it. He's the son of the doctor in charge of the asylum. Whoa. But this shouldn't be a concern for us. We're here to teach you the art of loosening screws without a tool. All right, then. Hmm. I have to get my bearings first. I'll go first, if you don't mind. We can take turns, okay? Okay. Love the music. Uh, later, way, way back later in the game, we're gonna come back to this location in the present. And um, you will see it looks kind of different. Not only because there's been years, also because it's like memory. This was from the developer commentary. For example, this, this winding staircase. I mean, of course it doesn't look like that in real life. But Edna remembers it that way because she was a little child, like locked in here. And I'm just gonna sell, say, bad parenting. Uh, How's her dad called? I think Yannis or something? We're gonna learn later. Or oh, this, this, this oven looked uh, kind of imposing and scary. We can really quick turn on the original, uh, how it looked originally. It's kind of ugly, really. <laughs> This, yeah, this this looks a lot like the later game. This basically is uh, part two. Um, Harvey's new eyes. It looks a lot more like like that art style. Yeah, we are we are Harvey now. We can also switch to Edna. But as Harvey, we can move around more. I think. We can look at a lot of things. Oh yeah. A works jar full of rusty nails. Works differently here. We can like take ideas. You'll know 100% if someone has had their tetanus shot with these. Maybe I should ask Edna if she could use them. Jen, jar of nails? Vermilion, Norwegian Umbra, and Chinese Gooseberry Pastel. Great colors. Actually, Edna prefers finger paints, but she might still be interested in this. Yeah, and so basically our inventory now becomes things to talk with Edna about. Empty! Edna isn't one of those kids who likes to play with empty boxes. But I can ask her anyway. She's not like my cat. There's a reason these ended up in the basement. The reason is, they are of no use whatsoever. Cloth. Okay. They're not even worthy of racking my brain for a punchline. No. It's just oil. Thought this was a lamp. How long does oil have to sit before it congeals? Apparently this long. Maybe Edna will know what to do with the oil. I should ask her. Can cover herself in it and make her all slippery and slip out the window. Cardboard box? This is rosehip thistle marmalade. Oh, Mattis, oh, Edna's father, got inventory. that from Grandma. Mattis, Mattis not stored it in the basement because it keeps the rats away. Mattis is kind of not a good dad. I'd rather not remind Edna of this ugly concoction. I mean, locking his daughter in the basement. 
we're gonna learn more later. I mean, it's 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 a mixed bag. The story. It's a solid rake with a long handle. I wonder if Edna can use this thing. Just gonna collect everything. One time, Edna put firecrackers in the furnace. But there was no fire in the furnace back then. Edna's playmate Alfred was there instead. Okay. I mean, Edna also was kind of cruel to Alfred. I wonder if Edna has any ideas about this furnace. Um, what we've learned so far, you know, Dr. Marcel uh, is the the head doctor and owner of the insane asylum uh, we are currently in in the present and in the past she was neighbors with the Marcel family and used to play with Alfred and not be very nice to him This pile of firewood is home to a vast population of hidden arachnids. <laughs> I should ask Edna if she can use the wood for anything. Hmm, this is interesting. The screws keep this plate in place. I remember, it's all coming back to me. Edna was able to loosen the screws. All I have to figure out now is exactly how she did it. This is the last piece in this puzzle. I'm sure of it. Can we look out? Yeah. I can see the kitchen. Nobody there. And the key isn't in the lock. But we can't see it, of course, because Edna doesn't remember it. No, wait. That's doesn't make sense later. You could open the door with it, if it wasn't locked. I wonder if Edna's just tried the handle. I bet not. Edna won't be able to do anything either. The key is missing. H how's it called when you uh, see faces? Something with an O, I think. Because this very much looks like a face. The eyes big nose and a um, very surprised or frightened keyhole mouth. Go back out and talk to Edna. If you can paint yourself into a corner, maybe we can paint ourselves a way out. Don't be ridiculous, Harvey. Not be ridiculous? Why stop now? Right. <laughs> Did we get the window? No, okay. Hmm, the window is closed. I might be able to squeeze through, but I can't do it without Edna's help. Maybe Edna can open the window for me. I should talk to her about it. First kinds of paint. If you can paint yourself into a corner, maybe we can paint ourselves a way oh, out. Don't we be did that. Not right. Okay. Um. Edna used to be pretty cool, even back then. Edna is by far the most interesting human being in the world. Talk to her about rusty nail jam. Maybe these rusty nails can help us out. How do you reckon? Well, um, I wasn't completely finished with planning yet. Cardboard boxes. Look what's in the box! What is it? A bunch of nothing! <laughs> gotcha! Oh, Harvey. Maybe the door will fall apart if we free the marmalade from the jar. Considering how it used to smell, that might even be a good idea. But we'd check out before the door does. Remember, though, you're made out of terry cloth. You could catch fire from the stench alone. 
That of course wouldn't be good, so the oil probably neither. Maybe we can open the door with the oil from the can. Nice idea. But there isn't any oil. Cloth. Maybe we can use these towels? What for? A sauna club? Yes. Uh, Edna, what do you think about yourself? How are you, Edna? I'm asking myself why you brought me here. Didn't you want to teach me how I can loosen screws? We'll get right to it. Okay, we are uh, uh, gonna be a bit faster. Talk about the screws. Hey, Edna, I found some screws. I know now. You have to loosen these screws to get out of here. You already that knew doesn't that. really help us much, does it? Now we've got the same problem as the one in the present. All right. I'll have another look around. I promise you I'll get us out of here. Hey, Edna, can you open the window for me, please? Even I can't reach it, Harvey. If I could, do you think I'd still be sitting down here? Okay. I think we're gonna have to change to Edna now. Look at the rake. I often used to play in the leaves with Alfred. Wholesome. Nothing to make it unwholesome. Hello? Talk Why to are you rake. hanging around? Make yourself useful. Take the rake. Use the rake on the window. Harvey? Get out of here. Um, Edna? Will you help me up there? Just for a second? Yeah, I think I can manage. So this. Why can't we look out here, but not out, out of the keyhole? It collects rainwater! To the back of the house. Look at the neighbors. Na nab? It's a gorgeous day! Yeah, maybe not tell Edna about that. Neighbors. This is the house of the... Um... Oh dear! Seems like I can't remember all the details after all! Happens. Oh, there's somebody sitting there! The guy on the left is Mattis, Edna's father. But on the right... Hey! Isn't that Alfred Marcel? That's the son of Dr. Marcel, the head of the asylum! Edna had to play with him a lot back then. But why is he sitting here eating ice cream with Mattis when Edna's locked inside? I don't get it! Better not tell her about this either. And I remember Alfred looking way uglier. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It says that the chestnut burglar has escaped again. We'll have to watch our chestnuts closely now. Just a second. This is interesting. It says he escaped by using a chewed off toenail. Hmm. The chestnut burglar has escaped. Maybe Ed. This says that you're allowed to rhyme easel with brush. Yippee! That oversight was long overdue. Chaos Phonetics researchers from the nanosyllable laboratories of the Henry Lincoln Institute for Applied Lingu Linguistics have managed to isolate three new rhyme pairs with the help of a participle accelerator. Participle? Yeah, participle accelerator. <laughs> Accordingly, in future final syllable in in future final syllables ought will rhyme with ing oost with it and easel with ifs these new findings give poetry three new important combinations that en enable poets to express complex circumstances such as the conductor was confused forget to say he did oost and it okay and so the weasel thought tomorrow i'll be jogging ought in rhyme form now. Okay. Let's this put... says that you're allowed to rhyme yeah, easily. Yippee! That oversight was long overdue. Yes. Do we 
have this topic now, Article 2, it's Article 1. This says that you're allowed that you're allowed to run. I can yeah. hardly. Was that? Uh, uh, that was Article One, okay. In Flint, Michigan, a left-handed person was stabbed with a right-handed pair of scissors. Very strange. Heard in Flint, Michigan. Also, the water's not very good. In Flint, Michigan. Yeah, I, oh, I always. Uh, Left-handed person stabbed with a right-handed pair of scissors. They say fact is stranger than Vic. <sighs> yeah, let's get out again. Yes, out. Out. Edna, Edna, Edna! Uh, you won't believe what's in the paper! You're finally allowed to rhyme easel and brush? Um, yes. About time. Now I can finally finish my poem about the weasel in the underbrush. How about Article 3? I've read that a left-handed person got stabbed with a right-handed pair of scissors. Isn't that peculiar? I Very. think somebody's trying to make a point. <clears throat> and now Article 2. Guess what? The chestnut burglar has escaped again. Oh no, not again. Last time he took three trees in our street alone. Police are saying that he escaped using a chewed off toenail. Really? Hmm. A knot off toenail shouldn't be hard to come by. And now? Now, we used a toenail with the screws. I'm really curious to see if this is gonna work. I can't believe it. It really did work! The latch isn't held by the panel anymore. I can just open the door. This really is our old kitchen. I can't wait to go on exploring my past. No, not yet. It was all just about to come back to me. I'm sorry. This was all I could remember. At least you learned how to loosen screws. Right. Thanks, Harvey. Where would I be without you? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, we are just gonna use that one. We go there and open the toenails, uh, open the screws with the toenails. That doesn't oh. work that way. Oh, I snipped it away. And yeah, I mean, she can just infinitely do that because when I now use toenail with the fan, just goes again. Now you would think she not of her two big toenails. Are the others really useful? Doesn't care. And she also has a lot more than ten. Look at the thing. That's the last thing a juicy steak gets to see before it's turned into hamburger. Yes. Oh, master of rotation, will you let me pass? In one piece? I highly doubt that. Oh, look at this, Harvey. A ventilator whose razor-sharp blades rotate at a deadly speed. This would fit right in with my collection of frag grenades and anti-personnel mines. What do you think? Shall I take it? <laughs> Harvey? I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> Use the... Look here, Harvey. I've invented the world's first chair leg sharpener ever. Cool. This would work great for vampire hunting. After we escape, we'll make millions. Can we... Oh, turn off the AC again. Yeah, probably better. Hey. Hello. Well, sweetheart.
I feel a little chilly now. Can you turn off the AC again, please? No. Fresh air is good for you. And with any luck, it'll make you drowsy. I'd like to know more about mini-golf. Well, who doesn't? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Yep. Yep. I'm gonna be mean to him, him again. Could you let me out and show me some of your golf skills? You know full well Dr. Marcel forbids that. If you're just trying to annoy me, I'll come in and play some mini-golf on you! That... doesn't sound... Okay, uh... Tell me more about your club. I've already told you everything about it. My father gave it to me. Yep, yep, yeah. A formidable man. Why don't you take your daddy's club and whack it across your skull? <laughs> You're me! <mean. laughs> My poor... Just you wait! Let's see if you're still laughing when I turn the AC back off. Great. Okay. Now we're gonna go back in. Maybe this, uh... I can pry the fan out of its casing with this. Exactly. And... Ugh. It's not in our inventory. It's here. This Edna is a real challenge, Holgor. That's Dr. Marcel's voice. It's coming from beyond this grate. Quick, maybe we can listen in on what they're saying. What do you mean by that, Dr. Marcel? I'm at the end of my tether. It's been ten years, and she can still remember. You're afraid she might find out what really happened back then? Pah! Nobody will believe her. Who's gonna believe a loony? The daughter of a convicted murderer. So why are you worried? I'm not worried. I just hate her resistance. I can't believe what I'm hearing. My dad? A murderer? There's something rotten in the state of Denmark. Yeah. This Dr. Marcel is hiding something. As soon as we're out of here, we'll have to clear the good name of my father. And with that, I think we're gonna save. I'm gonna save there. Did it already? Does it auto save? Apparently. Um. Yeah. And I think that's that for the first episode. I think I'm gonna play more. I don't know if anyone will watch this. Bye.